Hey you guys, it is March 12th of 2019. We are getting ready to work on this mushroom. We keep timing it wrong. You gotta soak it for about six to 10 hours. So that's the process we're about to do right now, but we keep timing it in a funny way so that like it would be middle of the night or morning. So it's March 12th right now. And uh, we'll show you first. First, you gotta take this front panel off, kiddo. Try to pull just the box top off. It should come all the way off, I believe. Oh, just like that. All right. All right, take your knife. I forgot how to open it. Make sure that the safety is off. That made me blink. You be very careful. What you're going to do is we're cutting an X in this. Not deep, just enough to cut the plastic. There we go. And now the other way. Here, you hold the camera for a second. This is a really hard knife. What are you talking about? That's too sharp. Shut this knife out real quick. Okay, and then you take it out of the box. I almost forgot to take it out of the box. That would have been a dangerous mess. After you got the X in it, you flip it over face down. And you soak it for six to ten hours. So we'll put some water in it. All right, kiddo. You gonna put the water in it? Here you go. So March 12th, first step is uh, soak it for six to 10 hours. You take this cap off the front of the box, put the X in it, take it out of the box, put it face down with the X, uh, leave the flaps closed, soak it in water for six to 10 hours. So we'll bring you back after that. Love you guys. Say hi, kiddo. Hi. All right, guys, it's still March 12th. It's getting uh, late. We had to let this soak. We let it soak for about seven and a half, nearly eight hours total so there it is so it says the next step here the first step was to remove the panel then it is lift plastic okay cut an X into the bag and we did that lift plastic flaps and lightly scratch away some of the white layer of soil with fork to stimulate mushroom growth we didn't do that ah we didn't do that I think it'll be all right, but I should probably do a little bit of that. Okay, anyways, to remove bag from box and soak bag in water for six to 10 hours with the X down. So we did that for about eight hours. We soaked that, the X is uh, facing down. Now it says to dry the outside of the bag, insert it back into the box. From its little image here, the box should be faced upward like that. So we'll take this out, dry off the sides a little bit. I'll probably scratch the front and flip it around into the box. So you ready to do that kiddo? Yep. You grab a fork real quick. All right, March 12th. So you need to grab a fork. Okay, let's get another bowl to put it in. Oh. Have a plate. We'll use this again for now. Maybe not good enough, but it could work. Why does it look brown? No. So supposed to lift back the flaps and scratch it a little bit. What the I know this is a little bit late, but it might stimulate the growth still.
It was like that part of the direction just completely blacked out. Mm -hmm. I didn't even see it. So, here we go. Go ahead and slide it in the box. Do you need to dry the bag first? Um, we can get a little bit of the bag dry. I'm sure that it's just going to stick to the cardboard a little bit. It just isn't. You probably don't want your cardboard wet as much as possible. Okay, so go ahead and slide it back in there. I'm surprised they're able to fit this big of something inside this. And we'll shut the box up. Maybe. Yeah, it's yeah, just a sh shut the box, and then they go right out of the box. This is going to be a 20 minute video on me shutting a box, huh? <laughs> it goes right out of the box. <coughs> Get that cough out of the way. Alright, so I'm not quite sure about that water and stuff. I'll probably dump it out in the mulch. So it says from now, about every day, you're going to want two to three tablespoons to water it with. One of the things that we've used for pocket watering. Uh, certain pods, like so we don't have uh, different kinds of moisture levels in our pods from when we're planting in trays and stuff, is one of these right here. So this is one tablespoon. What we'll do is we will water it in with two or three, two or three of these every day. So I think we want to pull these flaps back to it, said. Ew! I got mushroom spores in my fingers, probably. That means if I pick my nose right now, it's gonna put mushrooms out my nose. <laughs> no. Huh? No. No? Mushrooms won't grow out of my nose? No. Why? It's a nice wet environment. <laughs> Plenty of fungal activity going on in there. No. Fungus. Fungus. And snot and boogers. Okay, so. We'll give this a quick watering now to show you what we're kind of going to do. Uh, So since it just soaked as well, put that water in it. The bag seems to keep it uh, pretty good as far as it's probably not going to displace in the box. And they have you keep it upright right here. We're going to put it over here. You want to put it in the greenhouse, kiddo? Yep. And it's not very heavy at all. You sure? Yeah. All right, so we'll just leave it right here. And that is the mushroom kit we got from SK1 and SK2, right? Mm -hmm. You super excited? Yep. Kiddo likes mushrooms and he likes them even more. This is a, this looks like a, a really rewarding project if you have kids and stuff to kind of give a try. It should only be about two weeks and we should be eating mushrooms off of this. The process is really simple. It's a lot more cleaner than you would guess growing mushrooms out of a box like that, but uh, Really, really cool. So I thought we would give this a chance to show it. Love you guys. It's uh, March 12th. Thanks for watching.